Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today we are going to be chatting all about Camp EDC. So we have a little over a month to go until EDC, which is like absolutely mind blown. Um, I'm honestly not prepared. My mind is kind of on Imagine Music Festival right now because I've got that up first. But after this weekend, we are in full blown EDC mode. So I wanted to make this video because it's a really good time to start getting yourself organized. Um, if you need to order anything or start getting your camping essentials kind of put together, this is the perfect time to start doing that. So in today's video, I'm going to go over sort of like a guide to Camp EDC. I'll talk about some of the basics, um, what amenities are offered there, uh, the different types of camping, and then I'm just going to share how I am personally preparing for Camp EDC because this is going to be my first time, my first time camping ever at a festival, which I know this isn't full-blown camping. We're not in the middle of the woods or something like that, but there's a first for everything. And then it's my first time camping at EDC, which is going to be a whole new experience for me. I've done this festival five times, so this will be really cool to switch it up and do something different. So I'm going to walk you through some of the essentials that I am packing. Um, I also have a freebie for you guys today. So I wanted to make your life a little bit easier. So I have a free download. You can click the link down below in the description box, and it is a full-blown camping festival packing list. So I wrote out everything you would need to bring with you so that you don't forget something. You can just print this out, put it on your phone, check things off as you go but it's a free download so definitely check that out down below all right so let's just jump right into things I want to talk about hours because you can arrive for camp EDC on Thursday and the festival itself takes place Friday Saturday and Sunday so we are definitely getting there probably when it opens on Thursday just because we want to avoid crazy lines and we want to make the most of our time there so according to their website Thursday check-in is from starts at 9 a.m and goes till 12 a.m so you have the entire day Friday, same thing, check-in is 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So there is a cutoff and you can still check in Saturday if you needed 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So just note all those hours. Um, and again, the festival is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. So that's kind of the deal with everything. Um, make sure that you obviously have your festival ticket, but you also have your camping pass. So depending on if you're doing an RV or a car, whatever it might be, I believe it's one pass for your whole group. So we are doing what would be considered the GA camping, which is the moon glow shift pods. Um, and we have four people staying in there, so it'll be nice and tight. We'll, we're going to squeeze in there and do the best that we can. Uh, then you have VIP um, camping, which is the Desert Rose shift pods. And then again, you also can bring a camper or RV. So these are all different options to you. If you are with a bigger group, you guys want to try and arrive at the same time because it's first come, first serve. So if your group is spread out, you won't be able to be next to each other. So just note that if you do have a big group, try and arrive at the same time. You are going to be subject to search when you get there. So just be careful of that. They have a full list of prohibited items on their website, um, especially for liquor and stuff like that. I wrote this down. Beer and alcoholic drinks under 16%. Um, alcohol content up to 24 cans per person, under 12 ounces, and up to 5 liters of wine. So... That's a pretty good amount, especially if you have a bunch of people. Just pay attention to the rules so that you don't get anything taken away from you when you get to the search. All right, let's chat amenities. I'm going to pop some pictures up here as we go because like I said, I haven't done Camp EDC just yet, so I haven't personally experienced this, but I've seen tons of vlogs and heard from friends of friends. First and foremost, I'm just excited about this experience because after doing all different kinds of transportation and staying on the strip for five years, the biggest perk of this is the easy access. Like you can roll out of bed and waltz right into the festival. You can go back and forth from the campgrounds, but you do have to get your pass checked every single time. It's just like the ease of it. Plus Camp EDC in itself looks massive. You have a pool on site, multiple pools. You have this area called the Mesa, which is like your major hangout area. They have different shading structures, food vendors, regular ven vendors. I think they said salon and spa, glam labs, meditation, arts and crafts, speakers and workshops, all kinds of stuff. Showers, bathrooms, that's all going to be available to you. Um, so again, just make sure you're bringing things that you would personally need to take care of yourself for the weekend. But all of those things will be available to you. So let's say you don't want to bring cookware and things like that. You can just buy food for every meal if you really wanted to. 
All right, so I'm going to quickly run through my packing list. I'm not going to do the whole thing here because like I said, I detailed a full checklist in the free download. So that will detail everything you possibly could need. Oh no, our landscapers just got here. So I apologize if you can hear that in the background. I hope it's not too loud. But anyway, here's my packing list. These are the essentials that I am personally bringing with me. Okay, guys, we're in the clear now. I just sat here for like five minutes <laughs> just staring at the wall waiting for that to be done. Here we are again. Okay, camping essentials. Like I said, check out the whole download for all my lists, but the main things, and because you already have some stuff provided to you, it's really nice. You don't have to pack a tent and all that kind of stuff. So again, vehicle pass, your festival ticket, ID, credit card, all that good stuff. Um, also for this, you need, I believe, proof of vaccination or a negative um, test result. So do not forget that. Um, I think with most festivals, you can take a picture of your vaccine card. Just double check that um, if you don't want to actually bring a physical copy with you. Um, the other things I would personally recommend, pack for warmer weather at night or not no pack for colder weather at night so bring warm things like blankets sweatshirts sweatpants heavier socks like anything you can layer on in case it gets cold in your tent because we are in the desert and we've never done an EDC in October and even if it's 80 in the day it could potentially drop to 50s at night and say you need to get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night you want to just throw something on that will be super comf plus just hanging around you know the campgrounds bring stuff that's like super chill you know bathing suits because they have the pool parties um, just regular daytime clothes plus all of your festival outfits accessories all that good stuff um, you know sleeping bag sleeping pad so that you're more comfortable um, some people like to, to like to bring the air mattresses that you can blow up as well I believe with Desert Rose that is already provided to you so you don't need to bring any bedding which is really nice um, but don't forget pillows a uh, quick dry towel is what I'm hearing is really good um, for showers and things like that so it's made of a different material that dries really quickly and you can lay it out in front of your um, moon glow shift pot or whatever you have during the day you can relax on it hang out tan whatever you want to do um, flip flops do not forget flip flops for the shower you don't want to be standing with the stank ass feet in there so definitely bring those plus any toiletries you need again toothbrush toothpaste all that good stuff um, something to sleep in like I mentioned highly highly recommend earplugs and an eye mask because if you're camping chances are you're not going to sleep that well because you have no idea who your neighbors are from what I've heard the after parties and things like that go until the wee hours of the morning so if you want some rest highly recommend bringing earplugs with you um, and of course like besides food and things like that we are personally I think gonna go to a Walmart like the nearest Walmart we're gonna get a wagon cooler um, snacks and like things that are just easy to eat we're gonna personally buy like all of our me meals in the festival um, but if you have an RV or something or you're local and you can bring more with you then why not like save the money there and cook on site uh, so don't forget a hydration pack because there is free water refill stations within the campgrounds so bring a Nalgene bottle um, anything you can do to reduce waste would be great Definitely bring garbage bags to clean up after yourself, external batteries, extension cords, any of that good stuff. And then I would highly recommend lighting, a flag, a totem, something that can decipher your tent because they all look exactly the same. And I believe there's different like street um, names and things like that so you can kind of figure it out but bring a flag or a tapestry or something so that you can identify your spot um, and definitely bring either a headlamp or like a mini keychain flashlight if you need to use the bathroom at night you don't want to use the phone flashlight because you don't really want to risk dropping your phone in the toilet or something like that so those are just the basics um, that I'll go over today but that's kind of what we are personally bringing and preparing um, and then we'll pick up food and alcohol when we get there and put that in our wagon and bring all of that we might even need to get two wagons since there's four of us so I think that's pretty much everything ice cleaning supplies um, anything that you would need to keep your uh, food fresh if you're going to be cooking stuff Tupperware if you really need it um, and snacks for the first day that you get there because you know you're going to get set up you're just going to be hanging out you want something quick and easy that you can grab to eat but uh, I think that's pretty much it lastly the only thing I want to mention again about Camp EDC is just compared to doing things in the past like staying on the strip and I've Ubered in I've taken shuttles you know it's up to you personal preference what your budget is um, I highly recommend doing the shuttles if you aren't doing Camp EDC but I'm just really excited for all the perks that Camp EDC brings. 
Highly recommend you guys socialize with your neighbors, get to know people around you. Um, not only because it's just good to have like that community feeling, it feels more immersive in a campground, but in case you forget something or you need something, you guys can borrow stuff from each other. Plus, if you're out during the day, it's really nice to know who your neighbors are because if you see any sketchy people around trying to get in a tent and you know that they don't belong there, it's just good to kind of be aware of your surroundings. So make friends, bring some games with you because you will have downtime during the day. Um, the Mesa offers so many different things. And from what I've heard from some of my friends, um, yeah, there's plenty of things and you may not be able to even get to do everything because once you go to the festival, you're probably going to be sleeping through majority of Saturday and Sunday into Monday. So yeah, I think that's everything. If you have any questions, definitely let me know below. But again, um, I know Cotton Candy has some really great vlogs and videos on Camp EDC. She did the experience before. So I would definitely check out her page. And I have other friends um, on YouTube who have vlogs if you want to see what the actual experience is like. But after this year... For 2022, I will have plenty of videos because I will finally have experienced it. So I will be documenting everything and I'm potentially going to do, we'll see, you guys can let me know if you would want to see this, but I'm thinking of doing four EDC vlogs and doing a separate vlog on Thursday with the camp arrival and doing like a full walkthrough and tour of camp EDC, which would be separate from my festival vlogs. So let me know if you guys want to see that. If you're new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below to come join the family. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you guys never miss an upload. Um, you can also connect with me online at Emma Capotis on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. That's definitely where everything is most up to date and you guys can stay in touch with me regularly. And again, don't forget your free download. My full festival camping checklist is down below. So definitely print that out and bring that with you so you don't forget any items when you go on your next camping festival. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Fall into you.